Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Christopher DePaul, and I am back with another video. But we, before we get into this video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that post notification bell as I will be bringing you more content. Now, y'all see that thumbnail, y'all see that title, so y'all know it's going to be some drama. Let's talk about it. Boom. So, Drake Superstar, Dow your sin from RuPaul Drag Race Season 12 is apparently under some more heat, you guys. Um, she just recently tweeted out, it is, she tweeted out, Whitney Houston is officially four years sober. Period. Then she turns around and say, a few days later, say, now seven, no shade. So, people are saying that this tweet that she did is insensitive. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dahlia Sin has a history of doing too much, saying too much, putting her feet in her mouth, you know, ever since her elimination. So, apparently, y'all, uh, back then, she made some transphobic comments saying that transgender females should not be on RuPaul's Drag Race. Boom. And people attacked her for that. So you would think that she would learn from her mistakes and learn how to think before she tweet. But apparently not. Yeah, I'm just thinking that she's doing this for attention. We all know that good or bad publicity is still publicity. I feel like sis is just trying to be seen. She's doing too much. She She's pretty much doing too much. I feel like she is Tyra Sanchancing, Tyra Sanchancing her way out the door. And y'all know that Tyra Sanchez did a lot back then too. Now look at her. She quit drag a few days ago. I feel like if Dahlia Sin keeps going at, the, at, at where she's going, I feel like she's going to end up screwing herself out of being called back for All Stars doing any drag events. I feel like she's pretty much screwing herself out of, you know, business opportunities. Mind you, sis, you did go home first. So you need to just, just, just shut it up. Don't speak. I mean, I'm not trying to be shady, y'all, but damn, it's like, why would you come for someone like Whitney Houston? Knowing that people are going to attack you. Coming for Whitney Houston is like coming for Beyonce. Those are people that you just don't talk about. Yes, Whitney had her situations. We all know that. But it's not it's not for you to bring it up. Especially you. Somebody who have made numerous tweets about different things that you can't pretty much take back. Like once you put it out there, you, you put it out there, you can't take it back. She just seems like she just, she just... She wants to be seen. She's very, very inconsiderate of other people's feelings. It seems like she don't care. She needs a reality check. But, y'all, um, let's be real. Look at who her drag mother is. Her drag mother is Aja. But the thing that's different about her and Aja is, Aja may say how she feels, and she's really blunt, but she doesn't purposely... Try to hurt people's feelings. Dahlia does. You make transphobic comments. You come for Whitney Houston. You threaten to fight somebody. What's next? What's next? Just like like how many stories are you trying to get the blog to talk about you? And they're talking about you in a negative way. Look at Tyra Sanchez. She did that. Now look at her. She quit drag. Now she doesn't want to go by the name Tyra Sanchez anymore. She wants to go by her born name, James Ross. She's trying to start her life over. I really don't get it. I really don't. Like, you had this big ass platform to come on. You had this big platform to be a positive role model for someone. Because I'm sure people were still living for you. Although you were home day one. People was living for you because of your fashion. That's all people were talking about the first day of RuPaul's Drag Race was your fashion. 
you could have vanged your way out the door and start about a good marketing plan, but you decided to Tyra Sanchez your ass out the door. Oh, bitch, you fucked up. I'm sorry, you just fucked up all the way. Now, I love you because of your fashion. I think that you're a sickening bitch. But you need to humble yourself and get yourself together. I'm sorry to say it like that, y'all, but when you make transphobic comments, that kind of bothers me because I know a couple of trans people. I know a lot of trans people who didn't have no support behind them. And also, who the who is now doing drag now. So that kind of bothers me. Because those are my friends, my sisters, that you're talking about. So, and I feel like before you start to run your mouth, you just need to think about what you're saying before you say it. Because you're making yourself look like an ass. And that's all I have to say about that, y'all. Tell me what y'all think about this whole down your sin situation. Do y'all think that she can recover for this? Or do y'all think that she's going to be out the door very soon? Let me know in the comment section below. Please subscribe to my channel. And I will be bringing you guys more videos. If you have anything that you guys want me to talk about, let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next. Peace out.